Hey everybody, Dave here. I hope everybody's doing really well. Today we're gonna go through another 10 things you might be doing wrong in Premiere Pro, 10 tips that might just speed up your process. And just going from the comments, a lot of you have been enjoying the series and learning new stuff, which is great. That's the whole point of doing these videos. So let's go ahead and do another 10 quick tips. First step I'm gonna show you is how to quickly sync your clips to the music. First of all, you need to go through your music and press the M key to mark the points you're gonna put the clips in. Then you're gonna go and select the clips that you need. And we're just gonna go in and press I to get the in point and just kind of quickly go through the clips you want. And then after I select all my clips, I'm gonna come up the clip and then automate to sequence. I'm gonna make sure that the placement is to the unnumbered markers and the method is to overwrite the edit. So we're just gonna press okay. That's gonna automatically place the clips where the markers are, syncing everything to the beat. There you go, hopefully that speeds things up for you, especially when you're doing stuff to like some kind of TikTok trending song. Next is a bit of a tidy up feature in Premiere Pro. I do this all the time when I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed by my edit. I'll just right click and then come down to delete tracks and it gives you the option of deleting all the empty tracks. So I'll just press that and it just tidies things up a bit. This next one is a, a lifesaver when it comes to organizing clips. So right here, I'm just gonna press the tilt a key and full screen this bad boy. And say you've got all these clips and you just wanna organize stuff and be able to see what the clip is just at a glance. And we've got this thumbnail view in Premiere Pro. Now, if you just wanna change the thumbnail and be able to see what the footage is at a glance, just scroll over the clip and it gives you a quick preview of the clip. As soon as you find the frame you want it to freeze on, I'm just gonna press Command P. And as you can see, it's changed that. So if I go here, for example, and I wanna set that as my poster frame, in other words, thumbnail through it, you're like, all right, I like this one, Control P and that will be your poster frame. It might take you like two or three minutes to do that for all your footage, but when you're looking for all the footage and you wanna be quick editing, this feature comes in clutch. Random thought, comment below your favorite beverage of choice when editing a video. Mine's coffee. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you are a video editor, and you know how long video edits take and how long clients think they take. Hashtag preach. Well, to kind of close that margin up, and Vox Elements that are sponsoring this video today have an incredible array of assets for you guys to use and speed up your process. Over 9 million assets they've got from stock videos to graphics, lower thirds, motion graphics, all to make your life easier and just deliver those videos a lot faster. I use Vox Elements all the time. I've got the year subscription. And if I'm stuck with an edit or if I need to add some spice to my videos, I just go up to that search bar, look for what I need, and bam, it's there. Plus, if you check out the link in the description, you get a seven-day trial, which is unbelievable. You get unlimited downloads. You can use whatever you download, royalty-free, as many times as you want. So check it out below. Let's get back to this video. Now, in one of the previous videos, we talked about if you've got some kind of shape, picture, video, I'm just gonna take this shape right here and we select it. If you press command, you can get that to lock into your horizontal or vertical center lines and have it perfectly in the middle. So say we wanna shift this slightly to the left without moving it from the center line. You can either come to the right and shift that or if you start moving it to the side and press shift, then no matter if you go up or down, that's not gonna shift from that horizontal center line. And this comes in really useful when you're moving stuff around, but you wanna stick to the X or Y axis and just have it locked in. Next, we've got a shortcut to just set your in and out points. Usually you go in, you set your in, your out, and sometimes you wanna pre-render that to have a better preview or export those clips. Now there's an easier way of doing this, depending on what track is selected. For example, here we've got video one. And if I press the shortcut command H, what that's gonna do is, Hey guys, just editing this, and I realized that Command H is my shortcut, but the default shortcut in Premiere Pro is X. So let's get back to it. It's gonna take the clip the playhead's on and set the in and out points up to the cut. And then you can go in and export that. But say you wanna export chunks of your video. All you have to do is create a new track, and on that track, I usually just put an adjustment layer because unless you put effects on the adjustment layer, it won't do anything. Make sure the track the adjustment layer is on is selected. And if I press Command H, it's gonna select everything up to the cut, but because the adjustment layer doesn't have any cuts, it just selects everything. And by far, this makes my life easier if I need to export chunks of the video out, especially when it comes to social media clips and all that kind of stuff. So, hope that helps. Now, say you've got a clip in your timeline and you've made loads of cuts in that clip. And then you realize you need to undo one of those cuts. So instead of Command Z in it all to undo every other cut you've done, you just select a cut, right click, and then join through the edit. Or you can just select a cut and then press your delete key. Or if you wanna do that for multiple clips, if you press Command and select the cuts, you could just 
delete and there you go you got your clip back in previous videos we have talked about the transcription function in premiere pro which is a lifesaver it's so good but let's go through some little things that i've found really useful using this tool so i'm gonna come here i'm gonna select my in and out with that little shortcut command h and then i'm gonna come and transcribe my sequence i'm just gonna transcribe my in to out point now once that's done you can see how it's pretty accurate but for some reason it keeps on adding those full stops and commas that i always take out so you can come up here and search for example the comma you can replace that and then i'm just gonna press the space bar here where it says replace with and then replace all takes all the commas out and then i'm gonna go and do the same for the full stops and let's quickly create the subtitles now once the subtitles are created the cool thing is you can go in and search the text so i can search for example video and it's gonna show exactly where i said the word video and by selecting the text i can go to that exact point in my timeline so imagine you've got long interviews or a bunch of interviews to go through all you have to do is type in a word that you probably remember or subject they were talking about and go straight to that point in the video. Next, let's go through my go-to shortcuts when it comes to going through an interview or a talking head really quick. The keys you need are J, K, and L. If you press L once, that's gonna play normal speed. If you press it again, that's gonna go double speed, triple speed, etc. K is gonna stop and then J is gonna do the same thing in reverse. So reverse normal speed, reverse double speed, reverse three times. Last but not least, we've got this tip that comes in useful, especially when you stack in loads of videos. So say I've got this video right here. I'm gonna quickly set some guides like we do in Photoshop. And you've got some options. If you right click right on the ruler, you can work in pixels or percentages. I usually just go with percentages and I'll go 50% there and then 50% right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my clip. And if you press command and move the clip around, that's gonna automatically start locking to those guides. So say I've got another clip in there. You can quickly align stuff perfectly and it takes no time at all. Just select your clip, press the command key, and that will just lock onto whatever guides you've got in place. If you can't see the guides, come to the wrench tool right here and show rules and guides and you can clear the guides. And even better, if you're working with a lot of different layouts that you wanna save, just select your preview window, come up to view, come down to guide templates. You can save those guides as a template and then send them around to the rest of your team. So everybody's working to specific grids. I hope you guys enjoy that. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn that bell because we drop videos all the time. If you want to check out more time saving videos, check out these. Till next time. Peace.